One time for your mind, two times to move your spine. It's the hip hop and show stopping fat phone dropping master of the wheels of steel. It's your man, Mastermind, and you are listening to the Takeover Top 20 Countdown. What's up, everybody? You'll never believe who I got on the phone right now. Every episode, you hear me talking about it, so you know I'm blushing right now. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's the one, the only, Paula Campbell. What's up, beautiful? Hey, how are you? I you got am... me blushing now. <laughs> oh, okay, so we both blushing right now. <laughs> BBC Radio, this is the real deal. Paula Campbell is on your internet radio. Check this out. Okay, if you listen to the show, you know I keep it professional. Right now, I've switched my show up. It's now a top 20 countdown. So when I do my interviews, I got the top 20 questions I can think of, all right? Uh, okay, and I I keep it professional. Mastermind is a professional, okay? Okay. So All he, right, here we go. Before we begin, though, I need to tell the listening audience out there, I need to dispel this rumor. Me and Paula Campbell, we are not an idol, all right? I just want to dispel, dispel that right now because I was, I was going to start that rumor next week. So I just wanted to dispel it before I started it. We uh, are not. <laughs> Okay, here's my first question. <clears throat> with, with my professional voice, do you wake up beautiful or do you have to add hair, eyelashes, nails, and butt pads when you wake up in the morning? <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is a real question I, now. I wake up, I wake up uh, pretty. I think my hair is usually all over the place, but I still look pretty good. And it's yours, right? Yeah. You see that, fellas? I'm trying to tell y'all. This is my woman. All right. Now, here's the second question. Do you have a big butt? I'm just saying, are you as beautiful as your voice? Um, she it's nice. It. It's, <laughs> it's nice. All right. It's and, not, it fits the rest of my body. Oh, that's what's up. I saw your pictures on your uh, MySpace page, so that's a beautiful commentary. Thank you. Now, this is for the listeners, because they want to know, not me. All right. Are you single? I am. She very is. She is very single. All right, then. So we can uh, keep on going with that. First of all, let me stop blushing. Stop cheesing. All right. All right, here we go. So uh, before we talk about the album, you know, let's uh, get to know you, all right? You know, I read your bio on your MySpace page. And, you know, and I just want to know, did your tough background make you the person that you are today? Definitely. Well, it has a lot to do with who I am. Let's say that. Okay, then. Now, did you always want to sing? Or if so, uh, why did you start? How and why did you start? Um, you know, my mother used to listen to Sheena Easton and Tina Marie when I was really, really young. And I can just remember, like, wanting to be like Tina Marie, wanting to be like Sheena Easton or Whitney Houston. Uh-huh. And... I just had a voice. Like one day I just sung and everybody was like, oh my God, she can sing. So from then I just wanted to be a singer. Oh, that's what's up. Now, who are some of your, are those some of your influences that you just named? Definitely. Um, I love Tina Marie. I think Lee Houston is the mother of voice. Um, Faith Evans. I love Beyonce. Um, Luther Vandross, like I, I love a lot of the great Stevie Wonder, Prince, of course. Okay, okay. I can, go on I, I, I can see. Okay, uh, what about you now? With your career now on the fast track, is it hard for you to balance motherhood and music? Um, it's extremely hard, honestly. Um, I have some great friends that support me, and I have take care of my daughter as if she were their own when I'm away. So I'm blessed to have that. But um, as a mother, you always want to be around. Like, you know, you want to help her with her homework. You want to suck it in at night. You just want to make sure she doesn't fall and get freaks and scratches and bruises and do her hair. And yeah. to be on the road, it's really hard to juggle oh. our motherhood and my artistry. Okay, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is BBC Radio. It's your man, Mastermind. You're listening to the Takeover Top 20 Countdown. I'm on the phone with the lovely, the very lovely and talented Paula Campbell. All right, Paula. 
uh, with that out the way, let's talk about the album, all right? First of all, okay. who, are, who are you signed with? And what I'm really concerned with is, what's the story behind the title, I Am Paula Campbell? I'm signed to Columbia Records. Uh-huh. Um, the story behind the title, I Am Paula Campbell, actually came from uh, when I first started working on the album, I was working with Carbon and I in the Karma production. Yeah. And a lot of the songs that were written in, um, or really about half my album came from just two life experiences and it started with them and uh, we kind of like, everybody was sitting down trying to come up with a title for the album because we did the album in like four and a half months and we finished it. And, um, we came up with so many things, and it just, uh, who was it? My A&R at the time, my day-to-day, and poor, he's like, what, is it more about you? Like, I am Paula Campbell, he's just going on, well, I guess it, I am Paula Campbell, because it just tells a lot of my story. Okay, then, now we know who Paula Campbell is. That's what's up. Um, some of the, uh, who are some of the artists and producers you were able to work with on this album? Because I know you have, uh, an album before this that you released independently, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Yeah, um, here I work with Carmen and I, then Crystal Oliver, um, Troy Oliver, Yummy Singer, uh-huh. oh, okay. uh, JD and Karan from The Movement, I work with Warren Campbell, yeah. um, I work with Stargate, and more recently, actually after the album was finished, we went in and did some stuff over, and I got a chance to work with Neo. Okay. Awesome. How was that experience? Um, it was it was great actually. Uh, he and I are under the same management um, compound at this time, and he is an extremely talented person. He heard what I did and came and was just like, "Yo, I hear some other things. I want <laughs> you to do, P, and I would love it if I could do some stuff for you." And I'm like, "Cool." And we came up with some songs and he's just awesome like Neo writes a song in like 15 minutes maybe right. it might be 5 or 10 it's I can hear you awesome. smiling over here as you tell this story yeah he's, he's dope so that was a blessing in itself and it's just been like it's been growing and growing and growing it's like it's not good. okay now um what are some of your favorite tracks on this album uh, I have a song called Shelter that I absolutely love. It's probably my favorite. It's not a single, but it'll probably be everybody's favorite. One of their favorite ballads on the album. Um, I love Ain't Nobody Stupid. Uh, Roll Up Stack. Oh, man. My heart. Oh, my gosh. My heart is <laughs> such a beautiful song. I love the whole album. That's the name. As you're talking, to, as you're talking, as, as you're talking, uh, my phone is glowing because it's like I can see you had a real good time, a real good time making this album. Before you continue with that, um, I got a song coming up. Uh, can you stick around with us? You got it. All right, boo. Hey, that's uh, this is BBC. It's your man, Mastermind. The Takeover is the show. Top twenty countdown. I'm talking to Paula Campbell. I'll holler at y'all after this. <laughs> 